Deepika and Ranbir get steamy. Has Katrina tuned in? Shahid says that he doesn't know who Siddharth Malhotra is. Is Imran having the last laugh by opting out of Ekta's film? Salman is suffering from an Aishwarya hangover. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin and this is 9xc.com The Show. I'm hot, you're not, I'm a superstar, I'm a superstar, 9xc, 9xc, 9xc. Come November, things are going to get hot and steamy. And this is all thanks to Deepika Padukone and Ranbir Kapoor's Tamasha. Hot Ranbir in a French villa? What's not to love? A source associated with the film told us, Imtiaz has really pushed the boundaries this time and the lovemaking sequence is one that will be spoken about days after the film has released. To show the sexy chemistry between Ranbir and Deepika, the scene will not have any background score. Did you know that the lovemaking in the film is being initiated by Deepika's character Tara? No shy demure act for her. She knows what she wants and she goes for it. However, the source cautions. It's very organic and not done for gimmicks. You won't be distracted by it as such because it is very instrumental to the film script. Are you guys excited about seeing Ranbir and Deepika together again in Tamasha? Will their lovemaking scene set screens afire? Start tweeting at 9 xc the show using hashtag SteamyTamasha or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Our question is, will this steamy scene really see the light of day or will it get cut on the censor table? I mean, Pehlaj Nilani and his sharp scissors might just edit this long scene to the blink and you miss it one. And we know someone who actually might be happy if that happens. Our guess is that Katrina might not have been very kicked that they shot the scene in the first place and now everyone will get to see that sexy chemistry that Ranbir and Deepika share. If Katrina has any problem, do Ranbir sunte? We don't think so. And we'll tell you why in a little bit. Have some patience, young ones. That story is coming a little later. But for now, we are going to tell you what's up with Alia Bhatt and Shahid Kapoor. Alia and Shahid have gone to town promoting their upcoming movie Shandar and their on-screen chemistry is for everyone to see. But people are more interested in the chemistry that they have off-screen, not with each other. We mean chemistry with their partners back home. Shahid married Meera Rajput a few months ago and Alia is dating Siddharth Malhotra. So when Alia was asked what she thought of all the cool photos that Siddharth has been posting of his time in New Zealand, Alia said, Shahid, I always rescue you, today you rescue me. <laughs> And Alia has a lot of times Shahid has rescued him when he asked him about Meera. Because it's personal, maybe that's why it's reserved. Because you ask me questions about my boss. I've heard that Shandar has taken inspiration for his own wedding plan. Is it true? No wedding questions for Shahid Kapoor about his wedding. Is it true? No wedding questions for Shahid Kapoor about his wedding. No, no wedding questions. No wedding questions. You and Meera, you know, who made the first move? No, no, Shahid. Shahid. So now it was Shahid's turn to come to her help, and that is exactly what he did. Come on, Ali and Shahid. It's not like you guys are exactly shy about your relationships. Alia has been spotted around town with Sadat, and Shahid has made appearances with wife Mira and showers her with love on social media as well. Maybe they should quit the shy talk when they know that questions about their relationship are bound to come up. So what's all this now talk about? What's your take on the story? Start tweeting to us at 9XC the show or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9XC. On to our next piece, Eta Kapoor is making some hard decisions regarding the projects that she has in hand. 9XC.com exclusively has it that Ekta Kapoor has finally decided to shelve the Digman Shudulia directed Milan Tokis. Now this is the much postponed project that the producer planned with Imran Khan and later with Ayushman Khurana. 9XC.com told you about the standoff Ekta and Imran had over the casting of Milan Tokis. Imran wanted to work opposite Priyanka Chopra but Dam Laga Ke Hesha actress Bhumi Pednekar was the preferred candidate. 
Ekta decided to replace Imran with Ayushman and rope in Bhumi. But things didn't seem to have gone well for Ekta even with Bhumi and Ayushman. Now Jitendra's daughter is disinterested in the project and has decided to shelve it. Our sources close to the development told us. The same has been conveyed to Digman Trudulia who may or may not make it with a different studio. As of now, Milan Tokis doesn't feature in Balaji's slate of 2016-2017. It is a closed chapter. Ab to sirf Digmanshu hi Milan Tokis ko bacha sakte hain. Ekta on her part is busy with the Azhar biopic and working on Urta Punjab which stars Shahid Kapoor and Alia Bhatt as well as Kareena Kapoor. Well, that's one project Imran found himself out of and now the film itself is out of Ekta's mind. Is Imran having the last laugh here? But our next piece is no laughing matter. When the legend of Bollywood Amitabh Bachchan recently celebrated his 73rd birthday, he was flooded with wishes from fans and industry wallers. So when his Peeku co-star Deepika Padukone was asked if she'd like to wish Big B, she said, "I would like to wish him personally. Uh, I I pers I personally do not like to wish people like this. I think relationships are a very very personal thing and I would like to wish Amit ji personally." Well, I guess we get why she'd like to personally wish him. She is obviously trying to get back in his good books. Remember how Deepika and Mr. Bachchan had a fallout a few months ago? Deepika had thrown a bash to celebrate the success of Piku and her good run in the industry. She had invited practically all of Bollywood, except the veteran actor who shared the screen with her in Piku, Amitabh Bachchan. When asked about why Mr. Bachchan was not at her bash, Deepika said that the invite got lost in the mail. Okay, no, that's not what she said. She said that it was a technical error on her part. When Mr. Bachchan was asked about this, he said he had let bygones be bygones. जो बीत गई सो बात गई छोड़ दीजिए जाने दीजिए But looks like Deepika wants to finally set things right and not leave any space for technical errors. So this time she'd like to wish Mr. Bachchan personally. Maybe this is her way of apologizing. Hope Deepika remembers that Shah Rukh Khan's birthday is coming up on 2nd November. Like we told you last episode, she did try to mend her bridges with her Om Shanti Om mentor over their day clash. Both their films Bajra Mastani and Dilwale are releasing on 18th December. She invited him to the launch of her foundation Live Love Laugh but he didn't turn up. Well, let's just hope that Deepika doesn't forget to personally wish Sharuk on his birthday come November 2nd. For more dope on your favorite Bollywood stars, download the 9XC app on your Android and iOS mobile phones. Coming up, Salman keeps his connection with Aishwarya alive. How okay is Shahid with Vishal Bharadwaj's superstitious beliefs? Welcome to 9xc.com the show your source for all things bollywood Salman Khan returns to play the good sanskari boy in Prem Ratan Dhan Payo and we saw the teaser poster with his hands wide open which was a little like Shah Rukh Khan's signature pose but that's no biggie Then came the poster showing Sonam Kapoor lying seductively and Salman staring at her oh so lovingly Sure Sonam's posture was compared to that of a fish but in reality there was something fishy about the poster itself It's because it was a lot like the pose that Madhuri Dixit and Salman struck in Suraj Bajatia's Hum Aapke Hai Kaun. But itna hi nahi jab film ka dusra poster nikla to dekhne layak tha. Check this out guys. 9xc.com ne aapko bataya tha that Salman will be recreating a scene from Hum Dil De Chuke Sanam in Prem Ratan Dhan Payo and here is proof. Chalo dono ki beech similarities dhoonte hain. Salman Khan choti Salman Khan pulling choti Salman Khan pulling choti of heroin in lehenga choli Salman Khan pulling choti of heroin in lehenga choli against a fancy backdrop Only one small difference Aishwarya Rai Bachchan has been replaced by Sonam Kapoor Copying this iconic scene from Hum Dil De Chuke Sanam and making a poster out of it is a great way to create publicity We're talking about it right now aren't we but it does not end right there जैसे आपने नाइन एक्सी डॉट कॉम पे पढ़ा सलमान ने इस पिक्चर के लिए शूट किया है गोंडल पैलेस में ये वही गोंडल पैलेस है जहां सलमान ने ऐश्वर्या के साथ हम दिल दे चुके सनम शूट की थी एनी वे सलमान प्रेम रतन रिलीज इज दिस दिवाली विच वन डू यू गाइज लाइक मोम हैव सलमान एंड सोनम कैप्चर द मोमेंट ब्यूटिफुली और डज अ सलमान एफ सीक्वेंस रिमेन योर फेवरेट ट्वीट आस एट नाइन एक्सी द शो और टोक टू आस ऑन फेसबुक डॉट कॉम स्लैश नाइन एक्सी And for more news on Salman Khan, download the 9XC app on your Android and iOS mobile phones. And if you thought the Khans were the only ones particular about releasing their films during festivals, director Vishal Bharadwaj is now joining their ranks. 
agreed his chosen date is not exactly a festival release, but it's a landmark day nonetheless. The day is 2nd October, which is Gandhi Jayanti. Sunne me aaye hai ki Vishal apni next production Rangoon release karne wale hai agle saal on 2nd October. Rangoon me hai Shahid Kapoor, Saif Ali Khan aur Kangana Ranaut. इस साल 2015 में विशाल ने अपनी प्रोडक्शन तलवार रिलीज की ऑन सेकेंड अक्टूबर द फिल्म हैज गॉट रेव रिव्यूज एंड द लो बजट मूवी हैज अर्न ओवर 17 करोड़ The year before that, his super successful Heather also released on 2nd October. Now we all know the response Heather received and the wonders it did to Shahid's career. So it seems like after box office failures like Matru ki Bijli ka Mandola, Vishal has taken to being superstitious and wants to release his movies on the auspicious day of 2nd October. FYI, next year 2nd October falls on a Sunday. Wow. Is Vishal really willing to let go of the weekend box office collections by not releasing his film on a Friday? Can you guys imagine that? And next on our radar is a story about Priyanka Chopra's musical dealings. So, it's a given that intense romance movies have the space and reason for typical Bollywood song and dance numbers. But director Prakash Jha is all set to change that. His upcoming Jai Ganga Jal, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Ganga Jal, has not five, not seven, but a whole ten songs. With composer Salim and Suleiman in the driver's seat, we hope that this will be a chart buster of an album. In a candid chat with 9xc.com, the composer duo confirmed the number of songs. Yes, there are ten songs in the movie, and we have already finished composing them. We are currently focusing on the background music. So will we see Priyanka grooving to the songs in what is to be a gritty political drama? Suleiman replied saying, "We can't reveal if Priyanka will lip sync or not. All we can say is music has been woven in beautifully and it will take the narrative forward." With 10 songs, the movie sure becomes much more interesting. We are definitely looking forward to this one. What about you guys? Do you think the 10 songs are a little bit too much? Tweet us your views at 9xc the show using hashtag #jayagangajalmusic or talk to us on facebook.com/9xc. Coming up, wondering if you should watch Pyar Ka Panchnama 2? Check out our review. Ranveer breaks his promise to Katrina. Welcome back to 9xc.com the show. Pyar Ka Panchnama 2, the sequel to Pyar Ka Panchnama hits theaters today and here is our reviewer to tell you if it's worth your time and money. What's up? Mera naam hai Prabhu Daima aur maine dekhi Pyar Ka Panchnama. Ji ha, Pyar Ka Panchnama 2 nahi Pyar Ka Panchnama. Dono same hi hai. Same cut paste copy. Control C control V. परफॉर्मेंसेस की बात की जाए तो पहले कपिल की बात करते हैं जो है कार्तिक और नुसरत यू सीन देम इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकंड पार्ट में भी वो लोग वही हैं उनका वही परफॉर्मेंस है एंड यू एंजॉय देम इक्वली इन दिस पार्ट इज वेल उनके साथ है ओमकार एंड इशिता नाउ ओमकार आपको देख के लगे कि यार इसको दे, इसको देखा है इसको देखा है किधर देखा है? याद नहीं आएगा बट मैं आपको याद दिलाता हूँ एक गाना आया था छोटा बच्चा जान के हमको ना समझाना वो गाने में वो जो लड़का है ना सेम वो ही है वो ही है ही इज डन अ ब्रिलियंट जॉब एंड फुल ऑन एकदम शर्ट वर्ट निकाल के फुल डूड हंक बन के ही इज ग्रोन अप प्यूबर्टी यू डन अ गुड जॉब और उनके साथ है इशिता जिनका बेली डांस आप नहीं मिस कर सकते एंड द थर्ड कपल दैट इज सोनाली एंड सनी नाउ सनी यू कैन सी कि ये ये पार्ट एक्चुअली दिवेंदु शर्मा के लिए था और आप उसको इस फिल्म में मिस करते हो बट सनी हैज डन अ ब्रिलियंट जॉब प्लेइंग दैट कैरेक्टर डेफिनेटली उन्होंने बढ़िया काम किया है एंड सोनाली सेगल लुक्स एज सेक्सी एज एवर नो कंप्लेन्स देर नॉट एट ऑल हैविंग सेट दैट लव रंजन हैज लिटरली क्रिएटेड द सेम मूवी अगेन विद अ बिगर एंड बेटर बजट कि नैरेटिव बिल्कुल वही है कि तीन लड़के हैं तीन लड़कियों को मिलते हैं दे रियलाइज देर एन रिलेशनशिप विच इज इवेंचुअली टर्निंग आउट टू बी पॉइजनस एंड दे ट्राई टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट हैविंग सेट दैट दी नेरेटिव इज द सेम आपको काफी सारे वन लाइनर्स और पंचेज आपको बहुत पसंद आएंगे एंड लेस जस्ट फेस इट दैट मोरोलॉग इन दी एंड टेक्स इट ऑल सो ऑन द हॉट स्लॉट आई गिव प्यार का पंच नंबर टू सिंटम लॉ सो Three things I learned from the film. Number one, best song to pick up a girl on, Didi Tera Devar Divana. Number two, pink, खाली pink नहीं होता. Pink के बहुत सारे versions होते हैं. जैसे कि salmon pink, old rose pink, carnation pink, hot pink, magenta pink. Get it right. And number three, जो मेरी एक खुद की observation है, जो मैं आपके साथ share करना चाहूँगा. 
अर्ज किया है कि डॉन को भूल जाइए लड़कियों को समझना मुश्किल ही नहीं नामुमकिन है वाह 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 तालिया सो so, ये थी मेरी विशेष टिप्पणी ऑन प्यार का पंचनामा टू मैं आपको मिलूंगा अगले हफ्ते याद रहे कि मैं मूवी बफ हूं मूवी क्रिटिक जरा भी नहीं हूं अगले हफ्ते तक के लिए So at the start of the show we told you that we don't think Katrina Kaif has much say in boyfriend Ranbir Kapoor's life and here is why. Seems Ranbir hasn't forgotten his wild ways but he has forgotten the promises that he made to Katrina. Recent pictures uploaded on one of Ranbir's Instagram fan pages show him with a cigarette in one hand and a beer mug in another at Oktoberfest the beer festival in Germany. While Seems Ranbir is still enjoying the high Nanixi.com told you earlier that Katrina flew with Ranbir to a health spa in Austria for a treatment that put a stop to his smoking habit and Ranbir succeeded in kicking the butt but temporarily as these photos are proof of him finding it difficult to quit looks like he caved in and broke his promise to lady love Katrina Nanixi.com told you about Ranbir confessing that his recent box office disasters have taken a toll on him and that a lot rides on his next release Tamasha Maybe it's the nervousness that he's experiencing with the launch of the Masha next month. After all, he does share screen space with X Flame Deepika and also a very steamy scene like we told you at the beginning of the episode. May we ask again, what does Katrina have to say about this? Anyway, that's all we have for you in this episode of 9xc.com the show, but for more breaking news and the latest Bollywood gossip, visit us on 9xc.com. For Bollywood news on the go, download our free 9XC app for iOS and Android phones. Also visit us on Facebook at facebook.com/9XC and on Twitter at 9XC the show. You can view our complete episodes on YouTube and I will see you on Monday people.